The human body has 10 times more bacteria inside than cells. So this has a meaning, I assume, because we have so many, and they are good and bad ones. Can you a little bit elaborate what microbiota is? Well, indeed, as you said, Ferdinand, we have a lot of bacteria in our intestines, which are not there just to be there, but are to play a role. And the role of the bacteria is very, very important. And more and more research is showing how relevant this is, not only for the immediate newborn period, but for later in life, health in general as well. The development of the bacteria in the bowel starts just at the time of delivery, and it has been shown that it's different if the baby is born vaginally than it's born by cesarean section. So from that moment on, and then in addition with the type of feeding, whether the baby's breastfed or not breastfed, that will also have an impact on the development of the bacterial flora. Now, when we are talking bacteria, normally we're thinking about disease. You know, have bad bacteria, you have diarrhea or other disease. Are there good bacteria which prevent from disease or which you can use to cure from this from disease? Well, it's indeed there has been a big rethinking process about bacteria, and as you mentioned, many of the bacteria are now considered to be uh, helpful or even therapeutic, that is curative of illnesses, or even preventative of illnesses. And uh, what sounds more simply is what's called probiotics, which are bacteria that are given to the individual can prevent diseases or help cure diseases. What kind of diseases are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the diseases in general related to the immune system. So. In the newborn period, for example, it can be preventing severe illnesses of the premature infant in the gut, such as called necrotizing enterocolitis. It has been shown to prevent uh, eczema, atopic dermatitis, allergic rhinitis. It has been shown to prevent diarrhea, uh, help cure certain diarrheas. So it's a broad spectrum of activities that have been shown to, to uh, act to these probiotics. And these probiotic bacteria are also in breast milk, I assume? Correct. There are probiotics. Actually, uh, the theory that the baby was not exposed to any bacteria until the moment of birth has been changed now because it is known that the baby can be affected by probiotics given to the mother and also by probiotics after birth that are eliminated in breast milk itself. So they are there even uh, from the, we are exposed to bacteria even in utero. So once the baby is no more breastfed, it should have a daily dose of bacteria, right? Well, uh, the research today is, has not gone that far as to say that every single baby should receive some good bacteria, but in many particular situations, it has been shown that the baby can benefit from probiotics or good bacteria. And, and these bacteria are in supplements or are they in food? Well, uh, the market is full of what's called probiotics, which is not necessarily easy for the consumer to decide what is good and what is not. For a probiotic to be helpful, first it has to survive passing through the intestine, stomach and intestine, and also it has to be viable, that is, it has to be alive in the capsule when you buy it or in the product where you buy it. So as you mentioned, yes, it can be present in infant formula, it can be present in the form of capsules, of liquids, etc. And they don't do any harm, this probiotic bacteria? The probiotics have been shown to have a very, very large profile of safety. There are several studies uh, given to very, very premature babies where there have been no complications from receiving the probiotics and on the contrary, they have had a lot of benefits by preventing very, very severe illnesses. So eat good bacteria, stay healthy is something 
which is uh, um, advisable and... Uh, well, I take them sometimes. Uh, I think that uh, for very specific uh, conditions today, there are very clear uses for these probiotics. Uh, as we mentioned before, babies that are born by cesarean section, for example, do not develop the appropriate flora, the appropriate bacteria. They are very different than those that are born by vaginal delivery. And it could be that probiotics administered in infant formula could help fill that gap between the bacteria that are missing and those that are needed. So first choice is always the good bacteria from breast milk. And if this is not possible or other breastfeeding can be found in formula or other supplements can be given. That's correct. But it must be proven that there's an effect. Otherwise, I understood there's a lot of uh, products on the market with no proven benefit. Absolutely. Uh, like uh, many times the consumer is exposed to a lot of products that are called with probiotic effect, but no research has been done. And not all probiotics are the same are good for the same things. It's uh, you know, the same way that we use uh, a certain tool, scissors to cut paper, and we don't use scissors to cook. <laughs> the same thing, some probiotics are helpful for certain things and not for others. So one has to be very, very specific to, and, and when you're looking for an effect, to choose the right probiotic. Do you think that uh, pediatricians know enough about probiotics to give proper advice? I think that most people are very confused. They think that probiotics are all the same and they're all created equal. Uh, sometimes parents uh, who do the research many times know more than the, the physicians themselves. So okay. no, I don't think that uh, physicians really know in general what, what probiotics so are. So where from get proper advice? I think that it's very important to go to the appropriate sources and look at the research, um, information that is not biased, that does not have necessarily a commercial uh, background, but it's truly dedicated to instruct the consumer, the mother, the, the individual, and the physicians as well. And the medical profession can look to the Nestle Nutrition Institute website, which has a big section on probiotics. Yes, I have uh, looked at that myself and I think that there's a lot of unbiased information there and uh, I have myself been in fascinated by the abundance of literature that is coming daily on probiotics and the multiple effects that have at every single level. Okay, thank you very much.